when Ethereum came, they were like, well, you know, Bitcoin is gold and we're going to be oil. And I think that most of it is just PR. Uh, I don't think that people actually try to be complementary or that it makes a ton of sense to be complementary. So we could have different ledgers who actually coexist on this frontier. Our future is not like it's not governance for governance sake. You don't come here for governance. You come here for all the features, and the future exists because of the governance. Hyperledger is one of the few overarching like umbrella projects that could make everything a little bit more hunky dory, if you will, in a world of contentious, uh, <laughs> contentious cryptocurrencies. The first thing is that the governance is really more about the protocol itself and the smart contracts, right? We're not trying to build governance over every single contract, but over our entire protocol as a whole. Even from the day one, we'll have a decentralized protocol. It's just that I don't think that people are going to make use of decentralized governance right away, right? So the only special power that the foundation is going to have is that it's going to have a veto power, right? If, if, if people make a proposal and somehow the proposal is adopted and it's really bad or there's a big problem with it, the foundation can just say no. And that's the only power they have. If they want to move the protocol, they will have to go through the governance channel, which means they will have to make a formal proposal and have the proposal adopted by the stakeholders.